Hey everybody, this is Sliced Lime, and this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to use the application I just released called UHC Gen to generate your own ultra hardcore PvP map. So, to install it, you start by downloading and extracting the file somewhere. I've put mine on my C drive on, under the UHC Gen folder. Now, what you need to do is you need to download Forge separately. And you download the 1.8 pre-release version, or if there's a release version by now, and you just run the installer. Now what we're going to do is we're going to click Install Server, and we're going to choose the same folder that we extracted the files to. It's going to warn that there are files there, but that's fine. Just click OK, and wait for it to download and install the files it needs. Then when it's done, you should be getting this message. I successfully downloaded micro server and some libraries and installed Forge. So hit OK. What we need to do now is we need to copy the actual Minecraft version. So to do that, you go to percent sign app data percent sign backslash dot Minecraft backslash versions. So from this folder, in this folder, you'll have one folder for each uh, version that you have. And in this case, we're going to go into the 1.8.1 folder. And when you find the one you want, you're going to copy the .jar and .json files for it. And we copy them into this folder. So now we have everything we need. Uh, now we're going to run it and we need to just give it some parameters. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a shortcut. And to do that, you drag and then you hold down Control and Shift and it will say create link. And we can do properties on that. And what we're going to do is we're going to tell it what the name of the world should be. So I'm just going to call it UHC. And we're going to tell it how big it's going to be. So I'm going to say a thousand blocks. And that is a thousand blocks from wall to wall. Then hit OK. And run it. And it's going to pop up a command window and it's going to start. So the first thing it does is find a seed for you and then it's going to start preparing the world. Now to do this it needs to run the Minecraft server and you need to accept the license agreement. So there will be a file called eula.txt pops up here. You open that and then you have to change this false true to indicate that you accept the license agreement. So save that and exit this. Now, this will keep going. And if you want to use this several times, you only have to do the EULA step once. So what's happening now is it's going to start the Minecraft server to pre-generate the chunks. So this will take a few minutes, but it will make sure that the, the, when you start playing on the map, it will be much, much more lag-free. So to give you some form of idea uh, for how long this will take normally, a thousand block world like this takes a few minutes on my machine and a 2000 block world takes a bit more than nine minutes. It will pre-generate both the overworld and the nether. But for the sake of this video we're going to fast forward through this process. And then when it's done, it's going to be uh, the last output is going to be saving world, and then the window is going to disappear. And at this point, you have this new folder named whatever you named your world, and we gave the program its parameters. And that one needs to be either copied into your saves folder if you want to run it like starting from a normal single player Minecraft, or you'll have to upload it onto your server if you're going to run it on a separate server. And that's the end of the process. Uh, let me know if there's some stuff that was unclear. I hope this was informative, and thank you for watching.